Hey, what's up, nerds? How's everybody been? Long time no see. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's life is going good. So, I'm here to do a head shave. Um, I've got about three or four days growth, and so I've got to take it off. Um, work has slowed down for me quite a bit. Um, I've only got about seven days till I check out on uh, vacation time to go do some job interviews, and so they've kind of reduced my workload. So I've had some more free time and I thought, you know what, let's do a head shave. Um, so, I'm going to get right into it using Marrakesh Cafe, the shaving shop, and the club. Going with my Maggard open comb uh, with the Kai blade in it on its second use. And the brush I'm going to be using is my Mer Shaving uh, Happy Brush. So, that is the stuff we're using. I've been loving the smell of this Marrakesh Cafe. I got a little sample of it. Not a little sample. It was a full, it was a full size tub, but there was only a little bit left. You can maybe see the black of the bottom of the container start starting to come through. There wasn't very much left in the bottom of the tub when I picked it up, and man, I just love the scent. I think I'm gonna order it. Um, it's got such a great, uh, spicy, just, just a great scent. I really like the scent. So I've been digging it. I've been using it quite a bit, trying to use up that the rest that's in that tub. And then I think I'm gonna order myself the tub and the uh, uh, after shave. So just gonna bring out my brush. Have the soap blooming so it's nice and soft. Go straight to the to the tub. But how you guys been? It's nice to be back. It's fun to be back doing a video. I was talking to my wife yesterday, and uh, you know, getting a little bit stressed out about trying to find a job, job hunting, doing interviews, comparing different companies, comparing you know different jobs. Um, it's exciting and fun, and I'm grateful that uh, I've had a lot of interest and, and able to do a lot of interviews, but I was getting uh, overly stressed about which job should I choose, what's going to be best for my family, what's going to, you know, what's going to be best for our daughters, for my work life, for my career, um, what area do we want to move to, what's going to be best for our family that way, so just a lot of things, and she said, no, you just got to relax and, and let it come and you'll feel it and everything will work out and I thought you know she's right and uh, I need to start doing things I enjoy which is making these videos is something I really enjoy doing and, and watching videos and commenting with people and talking back and forth and I kind of put that off because I felt like I had more important things to do so I decided you know what I'm going to get back into it I'm going to start doing videos again um, especially now that work has slowed down. That was the main reason was how busy we were at work and trying to job hunt and make phone calls and do phone interviews, stuff like that. So now that all that work side has slowed down, I'm going to get back into doing videos. Get back into doing videos, watching videos, commenting on videos. Um, Uh, Steve, the Suffolk Shaver, if you watch this, I'm, I'm bummed that I missed your beard series. I didn't get to watch the full uh, episodes. I'd, each time I'd see one pop up, I'd click on it really quick just to see what you look like with a beard. And man, that last, I don't know if it was episode 5 or 6, the last one before you shaved your beard off, I really like the look. I think you should go back to the beard. It looks great. Really nice, classy uh, beard. You know, nice and full. Some guys can't grow a full beard, but yours was really nice and full, and I thought it looked nice. So, that's my two cents. Yeah, I just... Oh, I love the scent of this soap. 
chocolate, ode, dates, spices, coffee, just amazing combination of scents. Smells so good. And uh, the performance is excellent as well. Really, really nice performance. Um, I definitely overloaded my brush. I'm trying to I'm trying to use up this tub so then I can throw it out and tell my wife that I need to buy a new tub of it. So and get that uh, matching aftershave. Another nice thick creamy lather. Okay. Now oh, that is really nicely loaded. Alright, here we go. I decided to go with the Baggards open comb. Um this was the first I, I mean, I started head shaving with my McCurr Future, but then I got uh, all four of the Maggard's heads, the version 3, version 3 aggressive, open comb and slant, and this one has been by far uh, my favorite head of Maggard's, and um, really changed my experience head shaving, really made it much more enjoyable, so uh, for the price especially. It's a wonderful, wonderful little uh, razor head. And if I really was going to go back to what my first favorite setup was. I would have thrown a Balzano blade in this, but I didn't have any open. I had this guy sitting there that has quite a few uses left on it, to be honest, and thought, you know what, I'll just use that up, put another use on it. Cynthia, I know you don't like, uh, I shouldn't say don't like, that's probably too strong of a word. I know it always makes you a little nervous when I jump straight in against the grain, but man, it works. Um, so, that's what I do. So life is getting pretty exciting for us here. Um, starting May 8th, I took uh, 20, a little over 25 days of, 27 days I think, of vacation to uh, fly around and do some job interviews at some different companies. So first we're headed down to uh, right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, just south of Nashville. It's a little town called, well not little, but it's a town called Franklin, Tennessee. A uh, company wants me to come down there to interview, so we're going to head down there. Um, then I'm flying out to Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa area to do an interview. Um, a company from Mississippi is called, and uh, plan on Heading out there for an interview, Arkansas, I have a phone interview with a company from Charlotte, North Carolina on Tuesday and hopefully if that goes well maybe I'll get to head out there for an in-person interview.
So, some exciting things going on. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we start getting some job offers. I've had a lot of uh, interview opportunities, which is nice, and they, I think they go well. <laughs> I'm not so sure what the company thinks, but really only in the past week or so have I started doing actual interviews. So hopefully uh, some job offers start coming in soon and then we'll get to decide. I've been working with a company out of uh, Austin, Texas. So hopefully I'll get to fly out there for an interview. So some exciting, exciting times. Plus the weather's finally starting to warm up here in the northeast. My goodness, I think uh, like Wednesday, Thursday, it's supposed to be in the 70s, so I mean, I'm sure it'll get cold again, but we're excited about having it warm even for a little bit of time. So this Maggard's Open Comb, um, for anybody who might first or be watching this and thinking about shaving their head or even uh, getting into wet shaving with safety razors, um, for the money, like I said, a great, let me flip and use the other side, a great head shaver for the money. Um, Not as smooth as the the Rockwell 6C um, or the Parker variant. Not as efficient as the Mula R41. Um, but all around a good solid uh, head shaver for for a cheap. I shouldn't say cheap because it's not cheaply made. It's a, it's solidly built. It's a nice, nicely made product, but the price you pay is quite a bit less than those other ones I mentioned. Um, So great value. It's a great value product. That's it. Oh gee, now I sound like a not the Walmart brand, great value, now I sound like a Walmart commercial. You get wonderful value out of it. How about that? Yeah, really nice. I really enjoy this soap. Uh, really good performance, as well as scent. The scent is just spot on for me. But then the performance is really, really nice. Really good cushion glide. Really good slickness. Really good slickness.
just feeling around to make sure I don't miss any really big areas before I rent and restart on a second pass, touch up pass. No, nope, feels, feels good. I mean, there's some spots definitely need touched up, but. Still going cold water. So if any of you guys have any uh, experience with some of those towns I mentioned, uh, let me know. Let me know what you your experience was and how how you liked it, or if you know people who lived there, if they've liked it or haven't liked it, if it's a good family location. Yeah, just let me know. Uh, let me know what you think. Touch up. Ooh, I just got myself right there. Yep, just took a little bump off. That's what I get for going too fast. Not taking my time and, and uh, feeling where I need to shave and just going over it all and, and speeding through it. You know, I said not as efficient as the R41, but filling around, it is pretty, pretty dang smooth already. You know, I've kind of taken the Andy, the Northern Shaver approach, because um, he shaves his face every day. So he says one of the big things he tries to do is not overshave, because then once you start overshaving, you start getting some irritation. If you shave every day, that just makes it terrible. So trying not to overshave even on my head because um, I'd like to, I shave about once every third or fourth day but I'd like to start going every other day um, if it's not irritated so
this area right here on the left side of my head, right here, just gives me fits. If you guys are head shavers, let me know what areas you struggle with and kind of what you do to uh, combat it. Because, man, that side. Just rocks my world right there, trying to get that smooth. Add just a little bit of water to it, slipping up the soap. Well, that's not bad. No overshaving, right? I think the only times I've said that on camera, I've definitely spent time overshaving in an area. Alright guys, that's it. Call them out a day. I'm gonna rinse real quick here. I always find a little bit whenever I rinse. Spotter to that. There we go. Really, really nice slickness and, and uh, scent. Really good slickness, really good performance. I really like this soap. The two soaps I've used from the shaving shop and the club have been this one and Chasing the Dragon, and they've both been excellent, and I wanna order both of them. So I gotta work through some soaps I already have to make room so I can order those ones. But, guys, all I'm gonna do to finish off is some uh, alum. I dropped it the other day, cracked it, you can probably see the cracked end, um, but didn't break all the way, so still working on this chunk of alum, and then after that, just going to slap some witch hazel on, so uh, that's what I'm going to finish up with, good shave, excuse me, good shave, nice shave, um, yeah, the maggots open comb, great, great little head to shave with, uh, uh, especially for head shaves, performs really well, works well. Um, yeah, I really liked it. So, and the Mer shaving brush, my favorite brush. I love the shape of the handle, the keyhole shape, I think he called it, where it kind of has a little ball on the top and then bumps in and then flares back out towards the bottom. Really like that. Um, yeah, just a good shape. So it's fun to be back, fun to do a head shave. Um, yeah, I look forward to doing more and watching more videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate it. Even though I haven't been making videos, my subscriber count has slowly kept climbing up. So I really appreciate that. And hopefully you guys find something helpful or fun or useful or just enjoy watching it. So 
Alright guys, be safe, be kind, roll tide, and we'll talk to you guys next time.